Steve Hansen here with TheGianitoriallStore.com, where we help cleaning business owners scale their businesses and build system-reliant companies, not owner-reliant companies. Say, have you ever thought about becoming SIMS certified? Um, if you're not familiar with SIMS, uh, SIMS is the Cleaning Industry Management Standard, and uh, it was a certification that was created by uh, 12 years ago by Dave Frank. And uh, Dave Frank and Jim Perluto, they operate the American Institute of Cleaning Services, AICS, uh, which serves as a registrar for SIMS. Um, so if you go through the SIMS certification, you will uh, be working with them as a, as a registrar. Um, the other thing is that uh, as you go through this process, uh, SIMS does use third-party accredited successors to investigate, analyze, and determine if the applying companies are compliant with the SIMS protocols. Uh, very, very important. So that's why you have to make sure that you have all the documentation um, and systems and, and things like that in, in, uh, in line uh, for this assessor for when they go over and review, uh, review your, uh, your documents and your systems. So one of the things that happens is because of becoming uh, SIM certified is that you really do have a competitive edge on your competitors. Um, you know, in many cases, uh, many RFPs are requesting that the, that the contractor be SIM certified. Uh, so what's that mean? If you're not SIM certified, you're not going to be able to uh, get involved with some of these uh, requests for proposals on these hospitals and educational centers and many other buildings, a lot of, a lot of other facilities. So that's one of the big advantages of, of become, becoming SIM certified. Now the process, it takes a lot of work. Uh, there's no, no doubt about it, it takes a lot of work. So you have to prepare for that. Um, because in the SIM certification, they have two main elements. They have five elements, which is uh, you got quality, uh, quality systems, um, then you got the service delivery, human resources, health, safety, and environmental stewardship, and uh, uh, management uh, compliant com uh, commitment. And then you have your SIMS uh, Green Building uh, GS certification. So you have a couple of different certifications there. And um, for, the, for the first five elements here, you have quality systems. Uh, this is a section that requires system requirements. Uh, it sets forth a general framework uh, to ensure effective operations and, con and uh, continual improvement. So that's what that's all about. You have your service delivery. This section is the process necessary to effectively uh, produce and deliver services. Uh, so that's a, that's a big deal. These customer related processes include purchasing, staffing, and handling unexpected events. When we get to human resources, there, uh, this section uh, documents what an organization can use to document that it is effectively and efficiently managing employees in a way that enhances organizational performance. Very important. Number four, we got our health, safety, and environmental stewardship. Uh, this section includes the processes, systems, and documentation as they relate to the services that are safe, healthy, and sustainable. And number five, we got our management commitment. Uh, in this section, it includes documentation that allows an organization to demonstrate that, they, that it has uh, instituted appropriate management systems to meet customer needs and expectations. Very important. And then again, here we got uh, the, the sixth part, uh, which is uh, your green building GB. Uh, this section sets forth the standard framework to ensure that the organizations using environmentally preferred cleaning practices and management best practices. So that's, what the, that's why it's so uh, such an, over, uh, an undertaking is because there's so much that you have to do here. But you know, the, the nice thing is that uh, uh, the janitorial store, we developed uh, uh, a standard operating procedure for janitorial cleaning companies. And um, you know, it helps you uh, qualify for the SIMS uh, certification. So what we did is that we, we used, uh, we created all these documents and uh, these documents can be used in two ways. Uh, you can use it as an SOP for your business and or you can use it to qualify for the SIMS certification. Now, you know, all these documents that we've created uh, have been reviewed by an ISSA independent accredited assessor and meets SIMS certification standard. 
uh, when you start to review these documents, we have over 165 of them, 165 documents. It's a lot of documents with over 920 pages. So you can see that this gets quite in depth, as I was saying, when you start to go through these elements of the SIMS, uh, SIMS certification. So, you know, just for you to uh, uh, spend the time and create those 165 documents or the 920 pages, uh, if you were to take just 30 minutes per page and you paid yourself or a professional writer uh, to write, uh, you know, 40 hours, uh, paying them 40 hours uh, uh, per hour, $40 per hour, uh, it would cost you about $20,000 and about 500 man hours just to create those documents. So you can see that it's quite an investment if you decide to move forward and, and go for your SIM certification. Now, uh, other than that, you know, uh, that cost doesn't include, you know, some of the time spent uh, and added expense for researching, you know, writing uh, program, training programs, uh, delivering systems and procedures, you know, editing and re-editing documents. Uh, and uh, making spreadsheet calculations. Uh, I mean, there is, there's just a lot of work to it. So when you start thinking about all that that, that you have to create, uh, when you factor in uh, all this additional time and, and expense, your cost will likely double. So you might expect to spend $40,000 just on getting the proper documents in line and so on and so forth. Um, so that's the reason why we created the uh, standard operating procedures for janitorial companies uh, because we wanted to give somebody uh, we wanted to give people the tools that were that are uh, ready to be sim certified to help save them money and that's exactly what we did so by creating all these documents uh, we actually do we save you uh, in excess of twenty thousand dollars in development costs uh, now if you if you if you want, you can ask somebody that actually has gone through the process themselves without using our, our uh, templates and ask them how much time they spent on it, how many man hours, uh, and you know what was the actual cost of them of developing uh, the systems and procedures that they need in order to qualify for SIMS uh, certification. And I'm sure they're going to tell you that their, their pricing is, uh, if not, uh, as uh, the same as ours and or higher than what our what our estimated costs are now we figured that out because we did exactly that we talked to some uh, companies that went through the process and uh, uh, we know that our, our time estimate and pricing is, is right in line uh, in fact many of them said that they wish they would have known about our but our standard operating procedures for janitorial companies uh, before they started the process um, you know, it, you know, it's going to take you probably uh, about a year and a half, uh, so you can figure anywhere from 16, 17 months uh, to get all your documents and everything in line, uh, where if you use the standard operating procedures for janitorial companies, uh, you're going to be able to probably cut that time in half, and uh, you'll be able to start the process much, uh, much quicker. But um, Anyway, if you want to give yourself, uh, give your cleaning company a competitive advantage uh, by getting SIM certified, uh, do it today uh, and stop by the janitorial store. Uh, you'll find our, our, our standard operating procedures for janitorial companies in the download library under ebooks and manuals. So uh, go there, check it out, and uh, those of you that are actual uh, premium members of the janitorial store, you get that free. So you can just uh, uh, log in as a premium member and go to the download library and you'll be able to download uh, those complete files that we have that have uh, you know over the 920 pages of, of uh, documents that you need uh, for the SIM certification. So well that's it you know uh, make sure you like the like and share the video and if you have any questions I can answer uh, post them in the comments uh, section below and uh, we'll see you next time with more how to uh, scale your cleaning business advice.